Hey, what's poppin'? You already know, man. Y'all might not like this pie. Episode 004. What's up? Really good number, man. In the business. What number we on? 004. Episode 4. Okay. Y'all really might not like this pie. Yeah. Uh, we may not like it today. Yeah. How, how was y'all week, first of all? Do we care? I'm yeah, we blessed. care. Yeah, we care, we care, we care. Right. Um, like Jay, go first. I want to see. I want to see your direction of uh, how your week. How was your week, big dog? Uh, living in jealousy of Jay Hill's Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Parties living. never stop. Mm -hmm. the, the life looks good. Mm -hmm. Gemini Scorpio podcast came out. Jay mm -hmm. Hill looking like a whole network out here. Yeah, I, I don't know where he gets the time. I just don't know. I just don't know. But outside of that, yo, I'm just happy and proud. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, having a good week. It was beautiful outside. The cicadas are starting to go away. Yes. It's, it's, things are getting back to normal. So yeah, I ain't get smacked with a cicada people. in a couple of days. Yeah, for real. I'm, Wait, I'm, why are you living in jealousy in my pot? Like, not jealous, but like envious. That's yeah, what they say. Envious, I mean, why? Because Resist. of parties. You know what's crazy? <laughs> you know I hate parties, but I don't know. It just be looking so lit when you be doing your shit. I be like, damn. Yeah, he really, really enjoying himself out here. He really be at work though. He I really, really be working. <laughs> like, and I was just like, I don't go all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like my, my nigga really working. I'm like, somebody I'm gonna get a drink, and sit at the table, but sometimes people know, don't understand. Yo, it's crazy because like. The one thing you look at him like, man, I'm a little envious. I'd be like, man, shit, I'm tired as fuck. Like, I don't even want to do this shit for real. Fact. Like, people be surprised. Like, I'd really be at the club working. Word. Like, niggas think, like, it's all glitz and glam, the girls and fucking drinks and all that. And I'd be like, bro, you have no idea. I'd be like 1230. I'd be but like, you make hey, it look yeah. legendary, though. The slow motion clips and uh, the crowd going crazy. You got the mic and all that, that shit. Appreciate that shit be that. looking legendary. And then I got notifications on my phone from the... Mr. J Hill Network. I'm like, yo, is that Q to Q on this joint doing a live video? I'm yeah. like, oh, because you know, that's my man for real. So I like, I watched it a couple minutes of that. And then Gemini Scorpio came out. I was like, oh shit, we super let out here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, Jay ain't getting no sleep. I know he is uh -huh. catching hell right now. Nah, no, facts. <laughs> the editing game is insane. And the yeah. clips is beautiful, yo. Like, appreciate so, it, dog. Thank definitely. you, man. Nah, it's definitely work, man, put into this shit. Speaking of that, I think my week was pretty cool for real. I, um, like you said, I was busy. Um, oh man, yeah, it's just busy, bro. Like you be so busy that you only had time to think of no shit for real, for real. So and you don't like, have time to get in trouble, so you stay. Nah, that's a win. fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> nah, it was good though. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, if I had to rate it one to ten, I probably would say uh, uh eight. Cause I got, I so I just got my dog right. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Layla, my little French bulldog. Um, but she's been keeping me up all fucking night because I'm trying to crate train her and potty train her, and she hates the crate. So when I'm going to sleep. She's crying all night, bro. So it's like, what the fuck, man? But like, besides that, like, it been good. What about you, Stars? How you feeling, dog? I'm good, man. You know what I mean? Father's Day, you know what I mean? Um, special episode, just make sure, you know, the grind stays going. I had some videos this week. Mm -hmm. uh, recorded my last song for the project. So I'm, I'm done. Really? Yeah, I'm done. Right, yo, you give me a hand clap for both of those right now. Yeah. 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 I didn't yeah. yeah. say nothing this time. Yeah, and finishing the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's finished. It's looking like 14 songs, man, and um, that's coming out. You know, two months I'm work work on putting it out. Besides that, videos. I think I shot for Money Jake. I said this week I shot for um Moose this week. You know what I mean? And I'm working on, you know, R&B uh, as usual with these artists, man. Just 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 keeping the the ball moving. This, uh, do we, did me and Jay Hill get to be in one of your videos for your album? Yeah, oh, Jay Hill, man, Jay Hill you don't always want to be in no video? Jay Hill yeah, don't ever want to be in no video. He come Damn, late to the video shoot just crazy. to be like, you know what I mean? Yeah, be in a music video for what? I don't know. Stars always make me look crazy when I go on a video. All right, Jay, look, I want you to get robbed in this video, so come over here. You didn't get robbed in that video. He gonna you gonna come put the gun in your and face, and you know, you just look crazy. Like, yeah, I wouldn't, look how you would normally look. I about to say, I wouldn't mind being in a video on some like cameo shit, like right. on some just like chilling, like we homies. I wouldn't mind that, but like yeah. as acting, like nah, man, don't put me in no fucking video acting. Like, just let me be Jay Hill, yeah. like just chilling. Jay Hill, the brand, Mister. I said rent network. a Bentley, and then yo, we just pull up at the party for you, yo, me and Jay Hill pull up. Yo, man. speaking of Father's Day, let's get this uh, shot. Let's go. Oh, before, we, before we start talking this shit, let's, let's get these shots going, man. All right, happy ah, Father's Day. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to my guys. Oh, wait a bit. Woo, that's serious. I had to put them in dog cup up. Woo. What was that? Yeah. What so, was thank you, Lex. Lex is in the building. Right, Lex, thank you, man. Listen, thank man. You. Can we give a round of applause for Lex? We're going to keep that clip in there, huh? Bending over yo. the camera, too. Hey, yo. See, you got to be hey, careful. Yo. Hey, you not. Listen. Listen. I got, is that wrong? Listen, I got a lot of shit going on. Hey, yo, I'm talking with my mouth. But now, nah, but we on. 
on 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 a platform with Jay Hill. I'm like, Jay Hill, you support this shit? I'm oh like, that's you know they kill you for everything. Nigga. She could have put him down Thomas from the Sexton's side. She she fly. They, they kill you for fly. everything. Like, I can't fly. believe you on Jay Hill Network and he he supports this and whole time oh Jay ain't even say God. shit. We said a way more offensive things in these four episodes. Let's that's go. A fact. Let's get started. So Father's Day, man. How you feel about it, dog? How you feel about it? Um. So it's three different. So I feel like it's three different. Three different aspects on this panel. Yo, yo stars is so expert with that. How do you, How you feel, feel about, about it? Let's <laughs> set the tone in this no motherfucker. No, this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think it's important because you have you have a JS one who I don't know if you. He's not a father, a father at all. I don't know if you want to be a father. Uh, mm. At this point in my life, I ain't really. You cool with the, the nep- nieces and yeah, nephews? Yeah, yeah. I love them. Yeah, they all grown now. Wait, so you don't want to be a pops? Oh, shit in me. Cool at this point, bro. But you, so you, when I when I was younger, I wanted five kids, and then you know what I'm saying. Now that I'm in the space that I'm in, I love the peace. And I mean, you know, you. I mean, I know you're older, but you a guy. You know what I mean? That thing gonna that thing gonna let that thing work. You know what I mean? If you shoot that thing out, you know what I'm saying? You can be alright. There have been situations in the past. Okay. Well, so that is. so how, how many? Um, no, nah, not how many. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna do that. How many times have you been be... playing for? <laughs> <laughs> We just talk. <laughs> yo, we was, oh we was talking God. about the pod, the girl podcast. I start, I start thinking when it was like <laughs> abortion baby mamas. I'm like, how many abortion baby mamas you got? <laughs> That's when you're really speaking on shit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, y'all don't want to say Nigga, don't want to say the number. Yo, don't try to slow it down. I, like, I was about to say how many I had. Like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't how do many you got? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Set the tone. No, shut up, stars. He's so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have that. You have, many. Zip, you have zero? No, it's not zero. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I don't love him though. Drink. Don't do that. Don't do. I don't still love him though. It's called a uh, baby daddy special. It's not. Well, it's actually not a lot though. This, y'all probably think it one number. It's not. It's not a lot at all. Like, <laughs> I don't care. What? Maybe, I don't maybe care. Maybe our numbers are dangerous. Yeah, I might say because mine is like. <laughs> yeah, I, mine is not. It's not. It's not that many. I mean, I've been alive a long time. I'm gonna just say that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been alive. I've been alive almost as long as you. Yeah, almost. But my number is probably still not even half. I mean, you know, we're not gonna put my number out there like it's just a big ass number. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, <laughs> like I was saying, so Jay is. I got a, a few. You Jay, can do the math. He got a few babies. That's it. So do you? They have even mother. No. All right. Um. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Um. Thanks for watching. The, uh, so like, nah. So Father's Day, man. Um. Yeah. First of all, do you do you feel like? I feel like I don't even have to ask this question. We know fathers don't get the support that women do. do. Mm-hmm. But the real question is, do we deserve it? Y'all wasn't expecting that. As a unit? For real? Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> nah, do really. Deserve Y'all wasn't expecting that. No, motherfucker, we deserve that shit. How so can you? You're not even a pops. More. You we can't deserve... even speak on this. Here's, here's a quick one. Wait a minute. I have a father. <laughs> like, oh, for I real? I was raised with a father. What are you talking about? <laughs> yo, my dad deserves everything and more. My nigga, like, What did you yo, get your dad for Father's Day? This nigga... Well, yeah. Nothing. Oh, you get your mother for Mother's Day. That nigga ain't even in town, bro. I hit him this morning. I'm trying to pull up on this nigga. Actually, I was about to cook him. But I was. I want to cook dinner for him and shit. So and these niggas not answering. So I feel him. like you, you, you have a different uh, perspective because again, you did grow up in a two family household, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? Um, Stars has both his parents in his corner, but he didn't grow up in a two family household. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Me, I didn't grow up in a two family household, and gotcha. my pops was here when he wanted to be, right? So. That's why I asked the question, do, do we deserve it though? As much, do we deserve as much support and love for Father's Day as, as woman does for Mother's Day? I mean, yes, but the fathers that, that do right. I mean, okay. there's a lot yeah, of dads yeah, yeah. out here that do right. And I feel like, you know what I mean, for the, I feel like this, like if, I, if you walk in the house and give your baby mother or whoever, your significant other, a card and give her to say Happy Mother's Day and walk away, <laughs> you are in trouble. <laughs> now, if, you walk in and give me a card for Father's Day. I'm supposed to be like, all right, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate this Father's Day card. And you a tie I mean? that you're probably not going to wear. But hey, man, stop giving us ties. Most wait, niggas don't wait. even have a suit. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me, who, who giving y'all ties? Yo, socks, beaters, ties. Shit. Uh, underwear. You bugging. Y'all no, 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 no. My mother, that's my mother's job on Christmas. Is a load me up. That's her thing. She's like, yeah, I need to be all right, cool. I like that. That's her job. I'm used to that for my mom. But for my significant other. Wait, so y'all telling me. Bitch, don't bring no socks in my house. Underwear. Wait, so you don't. App- wait, 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 wait. First of all, y'all got some different shit because so I ain't I never get. Stop because you, you are, you've been a, played the role of a stepfather. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you've put in a significant amount of time and work I have. into that. Definitely. So what you saying is that you don't feel like you you don't care? That's not what I'm saying. Hold up. Oh, let me okay. let me let me let me address this real quick. Oh, and I'll be right back okay, to cool, you. Cool. What, I, what I'm saying <laughs> is <laughs> no no no. I can, I can I can handle two conversations at once. What I'm saying is wait. First of all, I've never got no ties, no socks. But if I did get some socks and beaters and some underwear, shit, you trip. You wouldn't appreciate that. Eleven years straight. Okay, eleven. Wait wait wait. Eleven years dad, straight. I've been a, I've been a dad almost twelve years now. Damn, mm. eleven years straight. No no no. I don't. Not saying it's straight. Just saying in general for but no, nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. We all that might everybody, be clutch, every though. father watching this. It's not clutch. Every father watching this may have two to three, if to, I'll say two good experiences of being a, a father's day. Everything else is pretty mediocre. And that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I feel like I feel like it's fucked up. I feel like, you know what I mean? We work hard to be good fathers. You know, respectfully, everybody do, you know what I mean? Nice. And shit. Just like you want something nice and the balloons and the shit. What's wrong with niggas getting flowers and balloons? Right. So for all of the flat ties that we pull up the chain, oh, man. all of the oh, it's a bug in the house, it's a it's a mouse, come get it. It's a uh, you having whatever days y'all going through, and niggas gotta pull up and just be there to watch niggas cry or whatever. Hey, yo, if there's a problem, the beef in the streets, you gotta go and knock a nigga out. Like all of this shit but that can't... niggas get called on for. I'm saying we yo, a father deserves a little bit more than the. If a, if a mother wants an expensive gift, why can't, why can't I get some Gucci shoes? Man? Why can't he get a PS4 for Father's Day? A PS4, well, PS4 hopefully. Excuse me, PS4. I say, what the fuck PS4 is going on really in your house? <laughs> <laughs> can, a nigga get a, can, can a nigga get a nice meal out? Like, no, I'm not saying, you know nah, what I mean? nah, I'm not saying that I wouldn't want that, but I'm saying I definitely would appreciate the socks too. Because well, that's what are you getting? What, are you getting socks underwear for, for your lady? Is that Am I getting her for, for that, for Mother's Day? So this Mother's Day was like more... not lingerie. We talking about just regular drawers. Like, no, nah, just... nah, bras and panties. Would she appreciate just that? Last Mother's Day, I think I got her. Uh, um... <laughs> I need to hear it. I tried to get something thoughtful. <laughs> so last year, I got her a desk because it was just it was just the beginning of uh, COVID. It's a desk. It's a we, desk. That's a really go good from gift. Drawers to a desk. <laughs> you got a desk. You had a and, thought. And, and I got so a coffee clarify, maker. You're not wearing a bra, so you're not getting her a bra. You want to get her some drawers, yeah. just drawers. Not I got. Bra, I got her. Just I got her a coffee maker. Because you know, like it was COVID, right? So I wanted to get a desk to set up her her, her her station, her work her workstation, and then I got a coffee maker because she loved coffee in the morning. So it's like, yo, to eliminate the commute in the morning, you can make coffee here. You know what I'm saying? And I just try to be thoughtful. Just a thoughtful ass nigga. <laughs> Good job. Now, what was your Father's Day like? Uh, my Father's Day last year. Yes. Um. I don't remember. None, it was, you would non-existent. Non-existent. No, no, no. I feel like we did something. You get a card. So, but nah. So, so this year she got you a desk with a coffee maker. No, no, no. But I you gotta, I got a desk you gotta understand, bro. We are different, and I wanted to talk about this. So, How are we are different? We different. So this year she's about to cook me dinner, and we getting crabs. But that shit I like though. Like, like but you might not like that. No, 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 no. That's great. That's great. That's okay. If you accept it, fine. But the thoughtfulness. With thoughtfulness. Not saying it's not thoughtful to get me crabs and make me food. But, but you might not like crabs like I do. But she could take you to a place that has the best crab. Because it's thoughtful. And you like crabs, so she can take you somewhere that has the best crabs in the city. She nah. can get you the custom crab bib with your name nah, on it. Nah, I don't with know. With the custom it's crab thoughtful. little hammer thing. Nah, that's cool. That's, nah, 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 that's, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's, cool. that's, cool. that's, that's nice. That's nice. But what I was saying was, like, you got to, like, I don't know. Like, she went to the grocery store. You feel me? Like, oh, now I have, I'm going to get leftovers and shit. Like. Man, I got I'm with all that shit. Right it now, seems like your bar is extremely low. Like, my bar is not low. Huh? That's the t- bro. You got to understand, like exactly. That's the type of guy I am. Like I like the nurturing part. So like, yo, she she went to the grocery store, bought food. So now I'm gonna have food throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna save me money throughout the week because you know how much it costs to spend fucking seventy five uh, seventy five dollars a day for your fucking girlfriend and your daughter. Like that's a lot. So to go to the grocery store for me, I'm about to save like seventy five, seventy five, seventy five, seventy. Like I'm gonna save some money. I'm with that. Like, I'm good for you, Jay. Jay Hill. <laughs> Jay Hill. Bigging himself Yo, ladies, you know Jay, how it is. Just send him a happy Father's Day uh, text. He'll be happy with that. Yo, that's crazy, like, bro. No, so no. My, my bar is low. <laughs> no, I think no, your, your bar is expectable for, for you. But also, you know what I mean? Throughout these years of you, you know, hopefully becoming a father right. uh, and more of a father with more children. Yes, it's only these been years, like these years will go by. Four, and, you know, almost four years. That, this is what I'm saying. The thoughtfulness that goes into Mother's Day or the expect, expectation you that goes into how it is to be a mother, how much we need to appreciate, how much we need to show is way different than the man. But honestly, but it's but why though? I just feel like, it's just, in my experience, you have 12 years, I only have uh, going on four years. Mm. And, I, and I definitely want to respect the time and the gap. But honestly, right? 
I want to I want to be respectful when it comes to what we do. Like we mm-hmm. had a conversation on this on this podcast multiple times about mm-hmm. us not being able to be there for our woman, for our children because of work and just being understanding that our creative space. Mm-hmm. We have to respect the fact that a woman really can't for the most part, women can't really have that excuse for lack of better words like they have if they want to be a creative they got to be a creative and a full-time mother at the same time and that's why i say i'm not saying i'm not trying to be a simple or anything like that but i do understand it like i want my girl to be nurturing to me and she still has to be a mother whereas though me i can do my thing be creative go to work make the money for the house and she still gonna have to go to work make the money for the house and still be a mother when i can i'm not saying i'm, I'm lacking or, or or i'm not showing up but it, i get some leeway if that makes sense <clears throat> I don't feel like ladies feel get no like, leeway. No, ladies definitely have a harder job. That's not what we're speaking on. But them having a harder job as mothers, does it take away the greatness of a father and what he deserves? No. Nah. All, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, and this is in, and this is in general with all women, because a lot of women don't really, if the father's not in their life and they don't respect the shit like that, or they fucking hate their baby daddies, mm. or they fucking hate men in general. You know what I'm saying? So this conversation of father day always gets like, oh, father day, father day. Like, it's like literally an open conversation like that. What I'm saying is, if you know some good fathers out there, and you know some men that's really holding that shit down, go out the way to do good for them mm. and show it off. Facts. The problem is, women show off all day how, like you go on Mother's Day, you, all the gifts in the world are showing, right? On Father's Day, we posting our kids. You know why? Right, right. That's because fact. that's we can't we can't that's what this day is today yeah. i'm leaving here i'm going to get both, both my kids and i don't know what i'm gonna do i might take them to dinner right because i just want to spend time being thankful with my kids right so i get that but like damn surprise me with something that you never did before like you would want from us a thoughtful gift and i feel like you know it's half-assed in our hands and i'm kind of no, sick of this no, shit. I think, so I, I think we need to normalize getting gifts <laughs> I'm showing the shit off shit. And, why, and you know, why I want, I want, I want us to all because I want us all to see it. Nah, because I that. think nah, no, 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 because I want us all to like see it. The reason is we don't post it, we don't post the gifts, we don't show like our 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 gifts of appreciation from our our significant others, what case may be. So no one ever really knows if niggas is having good Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? You can see mothers ones, but the father. So is it because so, they're not getting it, or is it because? So I ain't gonna lie. It seemed like your expectation is all the way up here. No, it's no and expectation. I, and when I compare the two, right? When I, when Why I, well, is it all the way up here? Because not, I don't want not expectation. Not expectation. I feel like I feel like your standard is all the way up here compared to mine, right? So, but I think it should be. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe maybe I'm just getting a stepfather's day gift. And not a father's day. Hey man, you cool with the food, bro? <laughs> Maybe I'm just she's getting... chilling. <laughs> she, I'm like, just is it a grass. such thing as a stepfather's day gift? Maybe. So are you? Are you? When, when Mother's Day come around, do you do the food and the gifts, or is it one or the other? Nah. So I really, I probably just do the uh, the gifts because you don't really cook. Yeah, I don't cook at all. So like, you know what I mean? But you take out for a meal for Mother's Day. Yeah. It depends. I'm gonna do one or the other. For Mother's Day, I'm not going crazy. I'll probably get you a gift, or I might take you out. So like mm. for, for last Mother's Day, I was actually about to do a private dinner, mm. but um, it was in a mix of us going through a lot of things at the moment. And, you know, like she just wasn't in the mood. So I just got like crab boils. But even that three crab boils or I think it was two, I think they split. But even the, the larger ones, that's like almost $200. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and that's just for two crab boils. Right, right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, Thoughtful. yeah, that's not, I was about to do the, no, the pro, I was, I was happy. She said she didn't want to do anything because the private dinner was like, um, I think. I think Keem said like 350 or something like that. So like I could save my little 150. Shout out to Chef Keem, man. But I'm like, I could save my 150. But no, nah. no, no, no. And and yeah, so I'm definitely I'm doing one or the other. I probably don't do both. Right. I was only bringing it up because it's like it 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 shouldn't be one standard is higher than the other. It's just really you took the time to be thoughtful to make sure that she got something that she would appreciate. The only thing Stars is saying is. Want the same thing. Stop for a minute and go. Oh, Father's Day is coming up. Not all right. Let's just go grab a quick tie and some socks. And there you go. Happy man. Be happy. Don't say nothing. But when it comes to really make sure that he's appreciate to let you should feel the appreciation. It should. It could easy. It could be this easy. It could be you having this purple outfit on, right? And her saying like, "Oh shit, he gonna wear that on Father's Day." He already said he gonna wear this this outfit, right? And he'll get you shoes to match. Oh, okay. It's like it's thoughtful. It's, it's, hey, it's hey you, you just pointed out my purple outfit. You don't like my outfit? No, I think it was fire. Shout out to City of Gods, yo. We, oh, okay. see, we see you fly out here. Okay, thank you, thank you, because I ain't know what you want to try. No, I almost lying. Give me a hundred. 
Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I mean, look, look, I ain't doing the clothes thing with y'all no more. Yeah, I, think, I, I, th- I caught enough flack last week about yeah, it. I, mean, so I, I, so I, 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 I listen back, bro. You just been so. sensitive, bro. I, I listen back. Oh, it yeah. wasn't that bad. He came in here with a tank top. I, I got three phone like, calls. Like, Niggas is ready to go to war. I was like, nah, now we chilling, bro. That's my nigga. Stop. Well, they even took it sensitive, too. The fuck? I know. All together. I together. I ain't scared. Look, 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 look. And this the main nigga got mad when I said something about my car. Yo, this nigga talking with the money. Hey, no, I actually here. gave you love. I said you do. Fuck out of here. Shut right. Move so, <laughs> anyway. So, I was going to say, I think I think my 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 opinion of this is kind of skewed because when it comes to gifts, I think we both do really good at gifts. So, I ain't really sure. And, and you know. Oh, you and your girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we talking about the rest of the world, though. But go ahead. Yeah, the rest of the world, definitely. Niggas, <laughs> fathers is shit. This shit is trash. This shit is trash. I mean, since so all the socks in Walmart are gone, I mean, but... y'all, should be, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> I went to Walmart, the, the beaters and the socks are gone. Now, I think I'm going to tell Shade she owe me some No, 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 no. Shade, you owe me some money. Mm. Ah, let's I, get spicy. Let's I need, go. I need my money back. Okay. For? Because mm. I got something of my own that you got to give me back. Fuck that. So since we, since we holding women to accountability, give me my shit back with you. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Mm. Okay. I like that. <laughs> yeah, since we being toxic. Oh, goodness. See, I no, no. See, see. I'm not. I'm gonna drink, drink to that, that too. We're gonna drink to that too. Yeah. See, I ain't scared. Y'all Jay, be scared. I ain't Jay scared. On his sec- uh, J- JS1 was on his second drink, by the way. Yeah, what's taking us so long? No, I don't know. I didn't know he drank the first until he got a refill. Mm. Thank you, by the way. Mm. It's, it's delicious. You know what I mean? It was a very, it was a very Yo, delicious on, 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 on a um, more serious note, I guess. Well, not serious. You was we talking was about. Serious. Yeah, we was you definitely. wasn't, but we were serious. All the socks and beaters are going out Walmart. <laughs> so basically, what we're saying is ladies do a better job at treating. Your fathers, well, your baby fathers, well, anybody who got kids and, and bust them out and make it, get the niggas some Just flowers. Say fathers, give. So you want flowers? I mean, I was life? speaking. I was speaking on in general, figuratively, giving right. figuratively flowers. But yeah, I mean, shit. What's wrong with getting nigga flowers? I said fathers. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, I'm genuinely saying, what's wrong with? See, you? I don't see. You gotta. I just like if you know your nigga, don't give me no motherfucking flowers. Because I'm, even like, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying in general, like, I don't, of course, no, I get what you. I saying. don't want flowers either. But, but you said like, now. Nah, you said you wanted something. I said if, if if I if somebody gave me some flowers, I wouldn't be like, man, take them shit for me. I'm not gonna say right. take it back, but just know me, like, cause even when I get my girl flowers, it's really for a moment. It's not even for a day. It's literally for a moment. Don't put the shit in a vase. I mean, don't hang, don't put don't it don't in water. Just it's it's like for me, flowers. Are are we don't want the pussy either, Lex. Are you not, really close? Don't box the pussy yeah, up either. Here, like. No, it's not. No, no. For me, and you should put it in the box. So for me, no. For me, for me, for me, flowers is just a is a momentary thing. It's like, yo, I appreciate you. Thank you. I love you. Here's a token of my appreciation. Sitting on the table. Nah, it's like, bro, (laughs) take it in that moment. You can throw it away. Mm. Don't try to take care of no flowers. So why don't you get her like roses? Not not flowers. Let me. I'm sorry. Roses, not flowers. Like, don't try to take care of roses. Nah, just like nah, just like yo. I love you. Like if I'm in a club, right? Like I want to me. I'm, I want to keep it spicy. Like not, not spicy. I want to keep it, uh, you know, romantic. Nah, like how we was in the beginning, spicy. So like you know how, but like when you single, you probably buy a girl some roses. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying, I don't care what you do with the roses. I just got you the roses to show you that I like you. You feel mm-hmm. me? So like I try to do the same thing. Being that I work in a club, I try not to get too comfortable. So I might just buy you some roses because if I was in here by myself, I probably buy a random chick some roses if I was single. You know what I'm saying? Like. So it's like, bro, like you, my girl, I want to treat you the same as if I was single. So it's like, bro, I'm like, yo, here your roses. But, bro, I mean, I don't need you to don't. It's just a, I don't know the word for it. It's like it's just it's just a trivial. Yeah, I guess it's just it's, just, it's, it's just not act. important. It's just yeah, kind of like it's, a it's like it's like a moment. Exactly. It ain't it ain't it ain't to be. Thought of hey man, don't throw my flowers away, bitch. Sit them on the counter and wait till they're down. <laughs> All right, my twenty-seven to forty-five dollars needs to be seen. Make sure yeah, in the club they be shit. taxed. <laughs> bro, in the club, first of all, that little same white man in every club, Facts. giving the same flowers out. Where are you getting them from? But one, no, but we no, got, but you got, look, man. we got to understand you though. Our situations can call white people. Our <laughs> situations is different. <laughs> yeah, we can't call Spanish people white people. That's no. Nah. We can't we, call Spanish people white people if they look white. That that is kind of no. fucked up. Yeah, they yeah, like yeah. our cousins, if anything. But how would I not? How would I know he's Spanish in case you tell me? Because he's not talking English. What? Wow, that was pretty racist. That was ignorant as fuck. What? He's not. And he, that jumped, was he, bad. and he screamed it out like it was just. Yeah, I'm posting that for a clip. You won't get. <laughs> oh, he not speak <laughs> Spanish. But not, but what English. I was gonna say is like, speak no English. We gotta understand though. Our our situation is different. So when I'm in the club, I'm getting paid one and two. I'm probably getting a discount or getting them for free because I'm shouting them out. 
So it's like, so you got the you got the cheat code. All right. Facts. What about the other niggas who actually had to buy flowers from the grocery <laughs> store? <laughs> you ain't gotta say it. I said it. Yo, that's <laughs> Terrence in the back, like, yo, what is that? Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. The flower boy. man, fuck with me. Like, if I'm in Euphoria, the flower guy, I'm that's fuck his with world, me. though. Like, that's the club is J Hill's world. Yeah, like so, the yeah, flower guy, fuck with me. So I see you, I'ma shot you out, and you better give me one of them roses for free. They ain't gonna give me the whole bouquet. Yeah. But they gonna give me like one. <laughs> yeah. ah. That's promo for him. Shit. Facts. Yeah. Then you get this free promo. But look, yo. You was talking about the, the girl podcast. You watched it and you had a, a, a few things to say. All right, oh, wow. so like I got cursed out while you was out of the room about like I should not. Yeah, women have the right to say what they want to say. And niggas can't. In the way they want to say it. <laughs> but we can't. But we can't say a motherfucking thing. Because I remember it. my dog, Jay Hill, he was dipping and dodging any kind of questions and comments about his relationship. And then I was, yeah. the Gemini Scorpio podcast came out. Man, there's a whole lot of information I got from that podcast. Damn, y'all, and I'm close to you. What, what information you get? I'm not in. Man. Nah, I'm, I'm I mean, this in the World Wide Web now. I <laughs> get <laughs> the whole world. I mean, now, it's on well, YouTube, I mean, man. You, you tried to... I did. You tried to avoid, you know, certain co- parts of the conversation pertaining to whether or not y'all was together, mm-hmm. you know, details. Now, yep. she didn't go into the details or whatever, but she definitely... Made it known. Yeah. All right, uh, so you got to understand, so... um. A lot of, and this is, I actually wanted to talk about this, like the, 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 the change, the difference in conversation between men and women, right? Because I think that's a, a big deal. Uh, but to your point, I think, you know, in our situation, I am open to talk about a lot of things, right? I was very, I was that way because she wasn't. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like she probably didn't want that to be known at those moments. So I wanted to do, I wanted to hold myself accountable, but at the same time, not put too much information on the table because I didn't want to make her uncomfortable, Mm -hmm. right? So because I'm comfortable with it, Mm -hmm. she can pretty much talk about whatever at any given time because I can follow that up. It can't go the reverse. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because if I put it out there, she's not comfortable, then I'm the bad guy. If she's putting it out there, the conversation that we're having behind closed doors is I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm okay with whatever she puts out there because I'm not my own man. Not saying that she's not her own woman. Mm-hmm. It's just that we're different in that way, right? Mm-hmm. And I've been in media and on this platform for way longer than her. So it's probably more comfortable for me to do that. Mm-hmm. So like when she was able to talk about that, it's because we already had that understanding that like, do your thing. You good. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Now, how did you feel about it once you heard, you know, how she approached everything and the discussion? And that's the conversation I wanted to have. I feel like it was dope. I think they did what they needed to do mm-hmm. as women. Honestly, for real, I told, I want, I, it was my idea for the ladies to do it. So it was like, I'm like, yo, I think, yo, I want y'all. Because she came to me, actually. The podcast was nothing like she she came to me about, right? So she going to hate this. But she was like, yeah, because I want a whole woman accountable, da-da-da, da-da-da. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but don't get too lost in yourself, right? So I'm like, and what that means is I'm like, yo, don't go out there looking like a simp or whatever, or uh, pick me, you get what I'm saying? Because you want a whole woman accountable because of our flaws, right? I'm like, yo, I want, I want you to do your thing and talk your shit. Right, she was like, "Nah, but I still want to hold kind of." But the podcast showed that she got comfortable, and they really got into that. Shit. It was probably ten minutes of, <laughs> "Yo, I had to go to therapy, and yo, we got to get it together." And you know what I'm saying? We, but that's we, good for entertainment, we be right? And I was like, "Yo, that's what's up." I'm like, "Man, this, I love this shit." The women is kind of coming. To- 30, 45 minutes of niggas ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just like, "That's what girls want to hear, though." Damn. And I was like, yo, this shit is fire because it's a fire conversation how they went about it. But I was like, yeah, it's entertainment. I ain't gonna lie, I watched it back. I thought it was dope. I thought it was, I thought it was interesting. So I, I didn't really. And then I heard that, you know, y'all <laughs> might like this podcast, little podcast. Kind of. I was like, <laughs> all right, that's what's up. Shout out to them for that. You know but I mean? wanted to ask y'all, right? Because even like in the whole conversation um, we was at, um, uh, well, whatever. I don't know how long we are in this. A lot of our conversation was like, what we want as men, not really, not really talking about what women don't do. And I might be wrong. I don't think I was coming from that perspective of anything. So for me, I wanted to ask, I feel like a lot of our conversations are like, yo, how can we be better? How can we do things better? Or like the unfairness or imbalance of it. It's whereas when you hear the women talk, it's like, it's really like pointing a finger at us. And I wanted to talk about the difference of conversations between men and women, and do y'all feel a way when it comes to accountability when we talking about women versus when he talking about us? Mm. I think both sides have Was that too deep of a question? No, I think both sides have uh, aspects of what they believe the other side should be doing. Like what? Um, like we were talking about relationships and how we feel like women should be to creatives. You know what I mean? That's our mm. perspective of what we feel like women should be like for us. 
But if you ask a woman how she thinks she needs to be for her creative boyfriend or what she needs to bring to the table for somebody like Jay Hill, it might be totally different than what you even, even believe it would be. They might think it's, it's like you said, the food aspect, making sure you eat. It could be, uh, you know what I'm saying, keeping you on top of your shit, man. Yo, you know Thursday, you got this, this going on. But Don't forget this. Things like not that even the expectation of what you want, though. I'm talking about as far as simply just the conversation. For example, like when they was talking, <laughs> I think um, they was talking about accountability. And then Diamond was like, um, you know, but you know what it be? Niggas be projecting and something, 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 something. So we never wrong. You feel me? So I like, I feel like as men, you probably would never hear us say something like we never wrong. You know what I'm saying? You probably would. All, like, I'm pretty sure some niggas that do that. But for the most part, we like, yo, you know what? I, can, I, I see that I did that wrong, da, da, da. And we can we can see where we went wrong, but a lot of times I don't think women can see where they went wrong until after the moment. Were I, I and even add on to that, I had an off camera conversation pertaining to the podcast where I was talking about the tone and the aggression that some of the women went at talking about towards men, towards men about mm-hmm. what they shouldn't and how they should do. Yeah. and I'm like, if I was to talk that you way, can't. it would be perceived as yo, he's a tyrant. Like you know, you just disrespecting women like you're not giving them you're not giving women the freedom to choose and, da, 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 da. and it's just like my thing is beyond all of that stuff it's just a respect level like mm-hmm. if you say you love somebody one and then to me that's where the issue is if you say you love somebody and you say you care about that person why would you even need to take that tone with that individual so and on another level of if you if you look at your if you say you got a man and you love him and he you're and you're respecting him respect as a man, mm-hmm. you would never come at a man with that tone. Like mm-hmm. you know, would never face a man with that tone. So why would you face the world with that? Do you and think do you think it's because and hearing you speak, right? I think it's because um what's accept what's acceptable in the world, right? Like you said, we could never have that conversation about women because we're gonna get canceled or they're gonna come at us a certain way. I feel like for years and years, women has always talked about their issues with men and openly and Mm -hmm. it was always okay Mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying so i think it's because of how the world view it but at the same time i feel like if we're gonna i don't know me i'm just very understanding so it's like yo they can have that but we need to have our shit when we talk about double standards Mm -hmm. right so it's like i can accept that you know what i'm saying because that's a double standard that i probably just can't do but you need to accept my double standard that you can't do as well and I think when you, when we can't, when it get conflicting when you can't accept the double standard on this side, but you accept the double standard when it works in your favor. So what, all right, what, what, what are we getting away with? Bro, come on. We, come on, come on, come on. We can fuck mad bitches and be cool. We can? Come we can. on, bro. We, we can? Did, did that happen? We talking about the world. What like, yeah, bro, we talking about the worldwide view of it. Yes, it's okay. I'm not saying women don't like it, but in the, in the, in the, in the grand in the grand aspect of things, women, it is um, normal for men. Women are having sex with a lot of men now. Bro, you're not about to do this. You, you wife, you wife, and, you wife and a girl who got uh who got a train ran on her. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> like cut it out. But Did she wait a minute. Did she choose the train or not choose? Whoa, the train? that's right. Rape. Rape. No, what are you talking? Okay, okay. What? Cool. What? In this are you okay? Like, like I'm just saying. I mean, on, no, so now definitely we can't rape. have the con- so now we're not having a conversation now. All right, cool. I'm just <laughs> oh my bad. We say we changing everything up now. When like, you say that she has, that she gives them now, permission like, to gangbang her, like that in general. Just... Right. So are you are you wiping the chick that got gangbang multiple times? That chose to do it. Whoa, Jay. are you? Is she you got to really, think about it. So is, she, is she really hot? It don't even matter. We got to think. Really hot? Does anybody know she got gang bang? Like, was it? Put Who knows? On, she was got it put on Pornhub. But, but, you know but, but that's like, but that's my point. I feel like that is a, a a double standard that we live with. And all I'm saying is, I just want to be fair across the board. If we're gonna if we're gonna accept the double standard that comes with y'all, because there's a lot of them, right? Like. The conversation that I've been trying to have for, for, for a long time is the domestic violence one. Mm-hmm. It's not okay, but more women put their hands on men than the other way around, to be mm-hmm. honest, and nothing happens. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to things like that, when it comes to, um, I don't want to say infidelity because that's just not cool. When it comes to having sex with multiple women, I feel like all these things are double standards in a man's favor, but women have double standards that's in their favor as well. Like, I don't know, women should never pump the gas. If you want to be equal, you can pump your own damn gas, but it's just it's certain things. That, That's a real thing. That, I'm just saying, certain things that work to your favor, <laughs> just like it's certain things that work in our favor. Why can't we just be human and understand? You know what? I may accept this, and you gotta accept this, and we could just live, live normal together. That's it. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. Good, good luck with that theory, Jay. No, nah, it would never happen. But, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, all right. I'm just saying that was if I could 
straight life. Okay. It would be like so that. let me ask y'all this question. Do you feel like if there was, if we were to start erasing some of the double standards, do you feel like it would improve relations between men and women? Nah. So if you were to start accepting, if you met a chick and she had a hundred bodies and you was like, eh, it's all good. Oh, you're still she? a great person. You ready to settle down. <laughs> And the life was great. Well, I'm sorry, Justin. That nigga said, how old is she? <laughs> <laughs> she might be in her late 20s, early 30s. Damn. Woo. Sheesh. No, that's the problem. But, but I get, like, she said, she ain't even getting I'm following you. I'm following you. I'm following you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you were to go, yo, she's still a great person, responsible, handles the business. You know what I'm saying? Treats you like a king. Like, you're not about to let that go. You still going to be like, man, fuck you, man. Like, nah, nah. So, as, again, when I was 25, I thought I was a 25-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm older, it's like, bro, like, like, yeah, I know you're going to have some body. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I probably don't even answer that question because, first of all, I don't want to know. Second of all, as long as you were safe and you don't bring nothing over here, I don't give a fuck. Because, I, I, like, it is what it is. And I know it's easier said than done. But what I do think would be better, honestly, to be really honest, and this is for me watching the podcast again, us just letting each other be who we are. And I've been saying this for fucking time and time again. What I mean by that is the one thing that stood out to me about the podcast was the affirmations that they was giving each other. And I feel like that's a woman thing. Like, and I like, let's just let that be a woman thing. Stop expecting that from me because I'm not your friend. I'm not your home girl. And like, and what I mean by that is like, they were saying, they were talking like, you know, yeah, I make mistakes and, and make, make mistakes. And you know, I did this and one of them be like, as you should, and, you, and that's okay. And that's okay because girl, you the best to ever do it. It's so like for me. And I feel like that's dope. But you ain't about to get that from me. So stop <laughs> expecting it from me. You know what I'm saying? So if we so you're uh, not gonna allow her to make mistakes. No, no, not the mistakes. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you come to me, like, if you say, like, like the the, the overly aff affirmations. I'm not about right, to keep right, giving right. you that because that's just not who I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna affirm you a lot, but I'm not about to overly do it. Like, I don't know, like, hey, I'm tired. I came home from work. Yeah, babe, because you did all that shit today. Because I'm tired too. Like, get over it. Congratulations. Like, that's I'm, like that's just me. And I feel like that's a lot of men. Mm. Not saying I can't be more of the other side, but I feel like if we accept it, just like as men, I feel like a lot of things we expecting out of our girlfriends that we get from our homeboys, and it's just not gonna happen. Like, my nigga, you wanna be in love with your girl, or you wanna be in love with your homeboy? And I feel like the same way for women. It's like, yo, you wanna be in love with your homegirl, or you wanna be in love with your man? And if we can accept each other for who we are, that's when I think the love will be deeper and it will last longer, honestly. Yo, right here, yo. Come on, yo. Come on. My bad. Come on. Bad. No, you did your motherfucking thing right there. I ain't know where you was coming from. That was some, you took a long ass way around that motherfucker. <laughs> I love the way you brought that motherfucker. You definitely took no the part way to you get that. You brought that motherfucker home, boy. <laughs> Yeah, Damn, we went all the way up the highway and back to come. My bad, my bad. But, but yo, you got there. Though. Thank you, I got there. You, you got there, there nigga. That was, my that question was is, but we, but like you said, we expect them to be a little bit like say, yo, yeah, the pod went viral. Oh my god, the pod went viral. Oh my god, we gotta celebrate. That's the energy we kind of want from our chick a little bit. You feel me? Because that's what if that's what they give us. But then, like, if you're not a nigga who do that back, you're like, oh, I got a promotion day. Like, oh man, that's what's up. That's good. Yeah, you got a promotion. That's what's up. But then that's not how we kind of want it back, though. You feel me? Because if she did that to you, would you? If you used to like that part of that excitement being there, she'd be like, "Oh, you, oh, you went viral. That's really but, dope, man." But I think that's, that's a really feminine dope. thing, though. I'm like, even when you said that, I was like, "Whoa!" Because I probably, I, if she told me she got a promotion, I'm probably not jumping for joy, saying that's really good, baby. Like, even if I go viral, I'm and not that's something she like. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but if I go viral and I tell Jay or you, I don't expect y'all to be like. Oh, bro, what is it like? Like, if you did, it's dope. But I don't. I'm not expecting that. Like, I'm not <laughs> expecting that. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm probably. No, 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 I'm saying my, it. I'm saying my expectation of my homeboys is going to be all right. Bet what's next? But I'm saying. <laughs> like, but, but I'm saying that's what it is. It, that's what we. That's how the two sides are. Kind of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want that from you, and no, you don't get that from me. But just ex know that that's not what is in my mail. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. accepting like, it. Accept that. Yeah, man. That's that's what's up, baby. I'm proud. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Right. Like that energy, most so than you want to jump under down shit. Hit your homegirl up. Y'all go out and have drinks. Nah, shit. for but real. Let that be okay. Don't go to. Don't go to that bar. Like, yeah, I told Jay, but I mean, you know, he dry. He, no, he's not dry. That's Jay. Yeah. And you need to go out with her, this lady you with now if you want to have fun and and drink and mm -hmm. celebrate your promotion. Yeah. Because Jay's doing a pod properly. Right. I think that's that's <laughs> a genius too. It's coming down to accept the person that you decided to be with. Yeah. And everything that comes along with that person. And that's what I was trying to say about the Kim Kardashian shit last time. It just was like, I was really just saying, accept the person that you decided to be with. Kim Kardashian shit. 
The black women community. I ain't gonna lie, that women shit, community really get on me. That shit went like crazy that. though, right? Like, why did they go? I, on me so I just bad? knew that everybody was gonna agree with stars. Like, nobody agree with everybody. They thought, did, bro. Don't you give that white woman that man's black? Like, Off that, fuck that though. Christ. Nah, so yo, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened? That's like, I didn't even know that oh, shit. Yeah, everybody was like, don't give yo, her any credit that's for his genius. Shit. I gave. Her, I literally said she helped him become a billionaire, and they yo, made it I seem like I said anything about the music. I said nothing about the music. They, they agree with you. On yeah, that. yeah. I'm not I saying they, I never, niggas ain't I, agree with me. I didn't know one person that took it racial. Like, yo, you got a different comment section. Yeah, I, I mean, he, you gotta understand he's definitely been on tour with Tech Nine. That's true. That's like, true. So you have a more dynamic, yeah. diverse group. Of yeah, like we yeah. just got niggas. Yeah, just niggas. Yeah, Shout out to my niggas. Weirdos on my stuff sometimes. Yo, so question. All right, so because you know I be leading the podcast, you I feel do. like a lot of times I come up with, from my perspective. I'm always trying to. Be better as a, a, a generation and as a group of men, right? Mm-hmm. So that's where a lot of times where I lead the podcast. But you know, I do want to have a safe space and a fun space because I, again, from the podcast, shout out to me, whatever. And I thought it was fun, and I thought they was getting that shit up. And sometimes I'd be like, man, I hope I'm not holding that back from us, because I want y'all to get y'all shit off too. Like if niggas feel some shit that these bitches ain't doing. That don't even sound like me. But <laughs> but no, I want y'all to get y'all. And that's why I, I kind of miss Gambit because Gambit was coming like, no, nah, because these bitches ain't going, you ain't about to. And that's just not me. I mean, I most like, I, I most definitely have my moments where I say what I what I want to say. You know what I'm saying? But at the, <laughs> let's attack these hoes, man, because you know that's what they're going to do to us. <laughs> I, I don't feel like it should, I don't even feel like it should be that heavy, but nah. I feel like you should be able to weigh in on whatever, from whatever perspective you want to weigh mm. in on. Like, honestly, I, I, I would, couldn't wait to get it to this point. One of, one of the reasons why I want to talk about the Gemini Scorpio podcast is I felt like they tone when they talked about their men mm. was just crazy, bro. The tone was way out, all way out of pocket. And as much as- Was it giving hurt? Ooh. Excuse me? Was it giving hurt? No, it's giving- <laughs> Well, the, it's given. Yo, there's niggas, laws and rules y'all. out here that we, that niggas can't knock me the fuck out, so I can talk mad crazy out here, like super. But is that? Crazy. But is that? I, is that the woman population as a whole, honestly, or majority? Yeah. Let's not say the whole, because we can't speak for everybody, yes. of course. Yeah. Why and, is that? And then? and down to the main. I'm not trying, because I'm I'm really not trying to. But go ahead. No. Go ahead, go ahead. Say it, nigga. Like I think. Yo, at the end of the day, it's the corniest shit. These. These yo chicks be getting with these corny niggas that allow them to say whatever the fuck they want to say out of their mouth. And so that way they end up getting on platforms being uberly over, over fucking emotional, over crazy talking, and be thinking that a real nigga really about to put up with that shit. So, so you want me to pay my bills and then you get to be on a public platform talking like, yeah, he better not. Da, da, da. Excuse me, nigga. This electricity is getting paid by Ma. The rent is being paid. I'm out here paying for dates. I'm taking you on trips. I'm treating you with respect. I'm loving you. But I have to be talked to like I'm a child or like I'm some teenager or somebody that you can order around like a fucking Jeeves. Who the fuck do you think it is? I ain't gonna Yo, lie. I don't talk to my women like that. Who so hurt I wouldn't want that to be become, who hurts you chronicles? Now, if who y'all hurts think you this is goofy game, Y'all can go talk like that, but you not being able to talk like that to me. But that's no, now is, it, no, no. Is, that, is this your younger bitches? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I don't care who it is, older, younger, whatever, whatever. Like in my life, like yo. But and, you got and, a point. Go ahead, go ahead. What I was trying to say is, you got a point, right? And this goes back to my point. I feel like, again, if we accept the double standards from each party, a lot of a lot of it will be easy to 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 be understanding and accepting of it. So like, yo, that's just how women talk, right? Not saying it's okay. But that's how some women talk. Okay, yeah, that's how. But when we say the majority, I feel like majority of women get that shit off like that. Some women because get that they off. hurt, right? Like and, in and, the in the culture, in the black culture, and, it'd be like that. And, yeah. and 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 when we talk about like when we talking about that, I feel like and the woman might not even like this for me. I feel like a lot of women when it comes to and we talking about the issues that we have in our relationships. If you have a conversation with multiple men, they'll tell you the same the same issues. So a lot for so for my guys that's in relationships, don't take it too personal. I just feel like it's just a man versus woman thing. So. Let me get back to it. Let me get off the northern partway. So I feel like <laughs> when we're talking about now, nah, so when we talk about the issues, right? I feel like most women talk about their pain like this. And if we accept that because that's just how women are as a whole or majority, it's okay. Just like we probably get over our pain with fucking bitches. Okay. And that so, might not be. Well, a, well, hold on. That's a fact. I, I, I hear just what you're saying. That's a fact. Let's, let's stay right there. 
That's a goddamn is it, fact. Is it is it right for a man to get over his pain and his heartbreak? Of course not. Exactly. But so, we do it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Why, stop. Why, let me finish. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me finish. You on Coast? Why is it not right? Hey, hey. You on Coast? You on Coast? You on Coast? Because instead of you going to therapy, it ain't no and part addressing way. what the real issues are, you That's are going fact. out therapy. And, and I yes. pay for therapy because another bitch hurt me when I can just lay up with her and she make me feel like the other bitch didn't. Yes. But does that make you right though? Does, does that it make me problem? wrong? Because I'm getting it from somewhere else. But guess oh, what though? Nah, but but at the same time, if, the thing is, is that if women saying us going out sleeping with tons of women instead of dealing with the issues is wrong. Can't we all say that them getting on a podcast and trashing men and saying that it's acceptable and cool is right? It's, no, no it's, it's all wrong. wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Right. It's wrong. So, but what I'm saying is, again, wrong is wrong. Fact. But again, it's perspective because I, I don't think anything's being said wrong. Not, not. And, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of times, like we try to change things. When honestly, if you look at life for being what it is, it's just reality. We can't change it. This is who we are. Ah, even that's if you not go true. to. So there was a time when we was all slaves. So what we gonna say? Yo, we slaves. Yo, we can't change that. It's all good. Yo, we just gotta leave the shit the way it is. You can't change it. Or we you fight for change until you get the change. Or, you or, want. or if you look at I it, I feel it, like if we all could come to the table, regardless of it, whether a person has the right to it or there's a perspective on it, yo, there's a better way we could communicate with each other. Now, mind you, is was it spicy for the podcast and it was great? Yes, yo, and I enjoyed it too. As much as I might have been offended by some of the tone of it, I thought it was fun and it was cool. But at the end of the day, as a grown adult, 42-year-old man, I'm looking at that going, bro, would you want to marry somebody like that and have your wife be treat you like that? Mm. And vice versa. No. I want us to be able to get to the point where we could talk about and treat each other with respect without having to talk extra spicy. We should be able to get to that point. And, and the fact that niggas want to fight for the right to be able to talk crazy about each other, like, yeah, that's cool. And you always got the right as an American to do that. But like, is as it an American, Is it productive? <laughs> Is it really productive? It's not. But it's again, not. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to say what's. Granted, I'm, it is. Real I, I'm not. I'm not here to say what's productive and what's not productive. Right. All I'm saying is, bro, they have a way in which they talk, and we have a way in which we talk. That's and a, a lot of the times, we are scared to speak in this in this manner because, again, the internet, again, the outside noise. But if we're gonna talk, how we're gonna talk about? And, and that's why I'm being open as possible. Bitches, hoes, whatever we want to say, because we are men and we are amongst each other. Mm -hmm. Let them do the same thing. That's a it, fact. Ain't, it ain't it ain't about a, a level of respect because of respect is subjective to who you're with and how they look at it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying. Don't get it fucked up. But at the same time, I still understand the other side of it. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I still understand that it's entertainment. At the same time, mm -hmm. I understand that they are amongst each other and they probably could forget the cameras there just like we do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is like, if we accept the fact that we are who we are, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah, it might not be right, but that's who you are. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna accept that. Yeah, you mm -hmm. might, you even behind closed doors, we get in arguments, you might get spicy, but you know what? As a man, what I need to do, and I talked about this before, I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna let you get your shit off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come back later. That don't make you okay about yelling at me. It doesn't. But because I can control myself in a way that you might can't in that moment, I'm going to accept that. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to come back. And I feel like it need to be the same on the opposite side. Because, again, I might come home from work. I might be irritated. And I want you to do the same thing that I'm going to do for you in the other moment. And mm -hmm. I feel like if we can meet there in the middle, then we will be better as a fucking unit, as a whole. Honestly. Man, that's great. Now, for ladies and gentlemen <laughs> at home, I just want y'all to understand this is pimping, pimping, excuse me, Versus Jordan, I alley oop it up and see how he just slam dunk that motherfucker. This is how you do a podcast. You say some wild <laughs> shit, do something so your homeboy can come back and clean it all up, yo. That's what it's up, ladies and gentlemen. This is partner at his best. No, I was asking like, but I, but even that right when I was having a conversation because I don't know, it might be a personality thing because a lot of times when I'm bringing up topics, mm -hmm. it's about being better. It's not really to blame mm -hmm. somebody, right? So mm -hmm. I was looking at um, and I. I'm not trying to say that's what nobody was doing. That's just how I speak. Sorry. But what I was saying is like, yo, when I'm looking at, uh, I was looking at this fucking um, Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez and The Baby party and, and Party. Okay. Right. And so me and Alice was talking about it and I guess they got into some shit. Excuse me if I get some things wrong because I don't really do the blogs and shit. I don't know what the fuck happened. I just heard about what happened. Which I, part don't you understand? So apparently... um. I guess, of course, the baby did a song with Tory Lanez. Correct. Niggas is mad because Correct. Tory Lanez allegedly shot uh, the video with it. Megan Thee Stallion, and niggas don't think the baby oh. should be supporting him. Okay. And I guess, oh. like, some shit happened on Twitter. Okay, you really don't know what happened. Wow, that's crazy. Right. It some was a really big story. So, uh, all right, so Tory, last year, the earlier part of last year, right before the pandemic hit, Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion were dating. Mm -hmm. They were an item. So they were coming from a Kardashian party late at night in a car 
There was a security guy. There was uh, Meg's homegirl. And a, a altercation happened. As what happens with drunk people in a vehicle. Hey, can we fast forward? This is I, definitely I, I mean, no problem. Okay. I hate got, in the midst of this, somebody gets shot. Tory cool. Lane goes one direction. Meg goes one direction. Meg said it is him. He said it's her. Niggas don't know what's going on. There's a court case pending. So nobody really legally supposed to be saying shit. So, of course, in the public eye, Meg comes out with no makeup on, starts crying, and says that, bro, y'all need to support me because I'm a black woman and a black man shot me. So the whole industry decides to go, fuck cool. Tory Lane, right. nigga. We're going to so, support Megan. <clears throat> pretty much. So what happens is, is that after a while, as we all do as normal people, we stop giving a fuck. We stopped giving a fuck three months after that shit happened. This was over a year ago. Shorty, you shot. Your foot is healed. You out here twerking again. <laughs> Tory Lanez is out here trying to get to this fucking money. He get the baby. What you do when you independent and you got some bread? You go get the hottest nigga out here to jump on a record and you shoot the video. The baby's not going to turn down $100,000 or half a million dollars for a record. Nigga, it's money. So baby went out here, did his thing. They shot the video. They put it out. They're promoting it. Meg feels some kind of way. Mm -hmm. She feels like the baby, me and you was cool. We did songs together. We got hits together. Why would you be with that turncoat son of a bitch? We homie. Facts. So the else, oh, so, the, um, so where just, you got to put it that because nobody going to hear the baby and Meg, the baby and Meg. Are, so Meg said it was cool for him to, to, to go out and do the song in the video. Ah, uh, got you. So he right. supported the. Just a little what? more detail, because you're missing a little couple of things. One, right, one thing is the song was done before, and the video was shot before the incident got out. Gotcha. The song's old as shit. Um, I saw a clip of the, the time when he was putting the holy water on the girl on the bed. Mm -hmm. Saw that way back. It was a clip that Tori had put up a while ago. Gotcha. It never was clear. It wasn't clear because- The situation? The situation. Um, after time went by, I guess his lawyers and everybody said, you got money pending here on this situation, and he about to bring this record out. You might want to get it's, it's money. Or it's a business move for you to go ahead and just be a part of it. So he let him clear it, put it out. He wasn't posting the video. It didn't, it didn't it, when it went number, it was looking like go number one on YouTube. Mm -hmm. He just posted the clip. But even the clip was tag Tory Lanez, scat out now, fire emojis. Like he didn't get no detail. He just posted his little verse and he left it like that. He didn't say nothing else. Now the retweet thing, I don't really know the details of it. He said he didn't do it. I feel like it'd be poor taste if you were to do it because everybody watched it. And that was a really, that was a really fucked up tweet. You know what I'm saying? So, but he couldn't undo it neither. Like he kept showing everybody trying to undo it. Like they, he didn't do it and he said he couldn't undo it. So um, that's what happened there. And I guess Megan unfollowed him the day he posted it. Mm. Unfollowed him first. That was on that was on like a couple of back backdoor blogs. I call backdoor blogs, like you know, Gossip in the City and stuff like that. Gotcha. But um, yeah, so that happened, and um, uh, I knew it was down there because you know, Megan and, and them were really close. So um yeah, at first that's why she was saying probably you said a nigga was lame and baby said, Yeah, I said that shit was lame. You know what she doing? I told him the same shit. So like it was a conversation that's out loud, but all it comes down to is like he said, it's about business. My nigga getting bread. And this is a good example that somebody brought up. Of course it's not as serious. But they asked Megan back you you forget that she had a Nikki feature before, right? Mm -hmm. And when she had a Nikki feature, the second feature she got that was a big feature was who? Tori. Cardi B. Mm. And they asked her in an interview, like, yo, you know, yeah, that's when they beef was heavy. And she said, this is business. You know, I don't get into personal stuff. This is business. And you know what I mean? I'm going to let business be business. And you know what I mean? I, I shouldn't, I'm an artist and I'm just getting out there. I shouldn't be locked down and do certain features. That's what she said out of her mouth. So it's like, I guess it's like, again, to the double standard vibe of everything. It's like, you know what I mean? He hasn't been proven guilty. Right. Um, as much as you've been trying to, I mean, if he... I don't, I don't really know how the, the legal shit work with it, but I mean, damn, I mean, nothing has happened in months. He yeah. got shot a while ago. So maybe it is slow, you know what I mean? But I mean, it's natural for people, like I said, it's a microwave industry. Of course people are going to just say, fuck it. You know what I mean? And Tory Lanez, let's, let's be real, he makes fire ass music. Like, I don't, I don't know. That's why people playing it. Cat number one on YouTube, yeah, the video hard. The song hard as a bitch. Facts. And the baby killing it. Facts. My question is really though, like, what the fuck do they want from us? Like, what do y'all, like, I feel like it's always, Men are always held to this standard of like protecting our woman, and it's like when every time I'm I'm hearing that statement, it's like, bro, I think I protect my woman all the time. So it's like, what else would you want? Because somebody was doing business that's not protecting a woman. Like, what is it that they like? Want did she her? want everybody who worked with Tori is cut off from her? Like nobody yes. who works with Tori can't work with her because yes. I mean it's like it's just I don't know. It's it's very it's very it's very choosy for lack of a better term. But that's um, why I ask like, how do you like what does protecting your woman look like? 
Because I feel like but, I feel like it looks different into everybody. But all right, this is where am I confused? Your in. woman or they're women? They're not in a women they're in not in an intimate relationship. It's just an industry relationship. Come, and can we we industry do? Mm-hmm. There's a difference between I somebody I debt, but when I see you, you know what I mean. We have random conversation, and then you go on versus we spending holidays together, or you know what I mean. Like there's a real close relationship there. Like industry is industry. <laughs> So why does now she's, it seemed like she wanting us to trade on industry relationship. You want the baby to now go against something. Wait, y'all, are y'all really that close? Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all really that, 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 that close of homies? Like, I, I feel like that's not right, bro. If we just industry friends, I got to do business. It's a bag. It's a big bag. I know them niggas. Yeah, that bag, that bag, that bag's probably big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, that's, 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 that's I don't know. I, 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 I'm up in the air about it. You know what I mean? I mean, honestly, we really don't know what the fuck going on. It's really he say, she say. So I don't feel like nobody should really, <laughs> so, really 100% lock in until a verdict. Let me ask you this, though. A, a let me clear. ask you this, though. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you this. What if he did shoot it, though? Does it change anything? I mean, yeah. It Why? It, 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 it It's like, you know, your girl cheating. You can, you can feel it. You can feel it. But when you walk in and see her bucket ass naked on a nigga. But that again, like, <laughs> yeah, that's but why, and, and that's my question. Like, why does it change this something? Like, how, like, how does it change something and why? Because it's like, yo, or even if he did shoot her, right? Can it still be looked at as like, that's y'all situation? Don't got nothing to do with me? No, because then it's like it's, the maliciousness of shooting somebody and shooting a, a girl that she was actually with. It's kind of, what that got to do with me and my business still though? Question. It, so what the outside person was saying, is that is that us as men uh should support women in the way of if somebody does something out of pocket to a woman, us as an organization should shun that. You know what I mean? So that we don't support somebody else doing it. So if you say, well, that's that person's individual thing, that's their problem individually, and I, I'm still gonna be cool with that person, that's kinda like a way of you co-signing and saying so, it's so cool for them to violate. Is that so when we say business is business, does that not apply? Is it only applying it, a it different... applies if we are in a gray area where a person is innocent until proven guilty. Once that yeah. person is proven guilty, then yes, I have to. I so have in to a moment of the beef with Nikki and Cardi, right? Mm-hmm. And if like that's real, that's no gray area. They clearly had some things to say. They clearly was about to fight at the. But it's different know. because there was no physical altercation between the two. It there was. was no violation. Nobody it was. got they, shot. It was it was physical though. And Cardi B was at the fucking. Oh, um, they spit on each other. And that's I'm physical. Like, that's probably the worst thing you could do to a person. So if you, you like, rather me shoot you than spit what, on you? When we talk about, <laughs> no, that's a real question. Nah, nah, nah. I don't. But when we talk about like disrespect, hey, yo, like, yeah, shoot. don't shoot me. <laughs> spit on me. <laughs> not like outside of that, like outside of shooting. What somebody, you mean? I feel like we can all agree that spitting on somebody is very disrespectful. It is right. So again, when we're talking about disrespect in that manner, and you still conducted business as business, it can't be looked at the same. It, 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 in my personal opinion, no, because that's y'all being petty. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't spit between the two of y'all. Look, y'all wipe each other's faces and fucking pat each other on the butt and keep it moving. But like, if they're shooting <laughs> between the two of y'all niggas, that's a real fucking problem. So either I need to shoot one person or shoot the other person. So y'all need to figure out who's wrong in this situation so that motherfucker can get shot. Whoever's wrong, shoot that motherfucker. That, that's just how And that's happens. around the board, not just men. Fact. Men, women, everybody. So if, Catch if, a bullet, so if Megan shot Tori, would we be doing this? Right, that's what I'm saying. If Megan shot Tori, would we be canceling Megan? Yes. Most definitely. No, bitches especially, be like, yes, up, bitch. Especially yes, after you sometimes spend you got to shoot year, a nigga. Especially after you <laughs> spent the whole nigga year trying to run that nigga life into the ground. So you don't think you don't think it would it would, it would be a... Women need to stand up for themselves because if he was doing this and he was, if he was being this, then he deserved that. If I shot a nigga, all that shit is out the window. I feel like, I feel like, honestly, the it's way okay the world is. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that, but oh, I'm saying okay. far as the world, I feel like they would somehow make it okay for her to shoot him. Oh, yeah, I know that. That's, black I know women that's the uplift the, the shit out of violent black women. I don't understand why. <laughs> Black they just up, and that's what I'm just talking about. It's not that no, they don't. Yes, not, bitch. Every stab a nigga, kick a nigga, hit a nigga with a car. You see some of the comments like, sometimes you gotta just hit a nigga with a but, car. But no, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I just said. My last statement. They don't hype just violent women. They just hype each other. Period. Like, yes, yeah, you deserve. You 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 was off of work today. Yeah, bitch, because you deserve a day off. Like, nah, bro. Like they just hype each other. Like, mm. like what? Like you called out because. Cause you better call on. Fuck that job, bitch. <laughs> like, what? Fuck that like, job, bitch. Yeah, yeah fuck that job. Need you. 
That job needs you, bro, bitch. and that's what I mean. Like, yo, we need to understand that we different. Because if yo. you tell me you you called out, I'm like, for no, what? For what? Like, <laughs> okay, let's get back you, to the... Especially in the midst of you not doing shit. I see, like, <laughs> I just see you sitting here. Yeah, man, I called out. They, why? We Nigga, ain't even you okay? doing shit Like, are, are, do we need to talk? Because you <laughs> fucking you up. Like, Whole time, man, bitch, what you want to do? I'm just a day party down here. Right <laughs> Two niggas I know going to have a table now. You go down there to the table. We ain't got to for shit. <laughs> you know Tony like you, so you got to just stand next to him. You fine, though. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah bitch, so, you deserve it. What you be saying, my bad? I don't even know where to go from here. Like, yo, I, 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 let's just talk about. Right, how old are, how to... old are the women you deal with? That's a question I want to ask. 30s, 40s. So anyway, you deal with older women. That's like two different generations. Yeah, 30s, 40s. He said 30s, 40s. 30s, 40s. So what? Is it no, okay no, no. If you... I shoot them now? Like, I don't understand what the fuck y'all No, the question I'm Wait, asking what? is, is for... what the exactly. fuck did that just ask my shit? What? What? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand that. what the fuck. Two you have a very, you have a very aggressive underlying tone on you sometimes. Yo. I worry about what you That nigga said. So I can shoot him? Like, what? what? <laughs> I'm genuinely asking because you say things sometimes, which is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the little, like the little, like, Did you made that had. R. Kelly statement last time? Yeah, he was saying some wild shit before. <laughs> R- well, R. Kelly doing, I don't do with my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I love R. Kelly music. Hey, yo, you feel me? I grew up in a different time frame. So, the, so, so you fucking a bitch and R. Kelly come on and she like, stop. You can be like, whoa, this For is a what? great song. <laughs> now, <laughs> Now at, at that moment you raping somebody at that moment. She was like, "Stop!" I'm like, "For what?" I'm about to Can come. Can we turn this? Can we turn this? Like, no, this is actually one of my favorite jams for real. Yeah. And then she like, "Yo, no, like, no, 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 okay." Speaking of that though, y'all, speaking of that though, now I ain't gonna lie, Jay. I think that's I'm real with shit. You. Now I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm with you in this one, bro. <laughs> I feel like I hate people so much, bro. Because I was thinking about this. I was literally just thinking about this, bro. I, I hate R. Kelly, bro, because it's like, bro, you was so talented. And you decided to fuck yourself up and do some dumb shit. Now I can't support you because everybody gonna look at me crazy. And I love your fucking music, so I hate R. Kelly now because it's like, bro, I feel like I'm in a trick bag, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna bro. listen to this music. Yeah, I feel like all of the jokes you throwing, I'm still gonna rock the shit. Mm. If Shorty obviously says, "Yo, stop. I don't this nigga was to on it. a tape saying, oh, I love this 14 year old pussy.' <laughs> this is facts. And you gonna go in there and listen wild, to this nigga? Let me tell you something. Wild niggas is wild niggas. And don't act like whoa, you never, whoa, you whoa, 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 and, whoa, whoa. Don't act like. Time out. What you not going to do? No, 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 no. That's a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> pedophiles is pedophiles. Wild niggas is wild niggas. No, man, that's not a wild going? nigga. That's the same person. That's a trouble. pedophile. We need to call it as it is. Okay. It's a pedophile. A wild ass nigga. No, it's not. A fourteen-year-old. <laughs> I can't even laugh at that. A pedophile. I didn't just wild. see. Whoa, he's this thing is wild. changing the whole tone. I didn't say like I didn't know. You he said was you said you said pedophile. He's a wild. You said pedophile, nigga. wild nigga. Same Two thing. Niggas. Tomato, tomato. That's what you said. Wild ass niggas is wild ass niggas. Nah. And, and thank you. <laughs> I, uh, what the fuck are you talking? Okay, I, whatever. I don't even know where we going with that. You just said wild nigga, pedophile. Same thing. I spoke to R. Kelly situation because it's like cancel, it's canceling. That's why we got R. Kelly because like we want to they want to cancel the shit out, Tory. And honestly, R. Kelly hasn't been. Convicted of anything, I don't think, pure yet. No, there's videos, nigga, of him fucking. She posted a picture with a bullet in the foot. Like, we gonna have these moments. But it wasn't him shooting her. There's no video of him going pow, pow, pow. It was just a, a video of her jumping up and down and shit. There's a difference. And it was a. It was Tory so, wasn't there with the gun in his hand, like, bitch, I told you. So you're like, saying. You know? So you're saying. Like, I told hey, you. Hey, hey, I ain't want- shoot. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm shooting Meg the Stallion right now. That's not what happened, no, <laughs> on video. Okay. Oh, so what but he, it, he did it on a sneak tip? He did it on the, uh, under his leg and shit? He shot it? I mean, we had footage. This has been over a long time ago. <laughs> Texas Wild Wings. Right, 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 right. What yeah. are you talking about? Like, but I mean, nah, so. I'm sorry. Where were we at? I don't know. I forgot. Um, just don't listen to R. Kelly right now, y'all. I don't care what he say. Let's, let's chill out. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You So you mean to tell me you can't. Yo, I'm not gonna like something. You can't like something can because of what, what they you did. Wanna do, my G. If because you I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm I'm a Kelly. R. Kelly got some great fucking music. So and that don't take shit away from him being a pilot because that nigga is still a pedophile. He's still yep. a foul ass nigga. Yep. He's still dirty. In jail for life. But Question. what I'm saying is the music. I can Question. separate the music from the person. Jay, yeah. this is for Jay. This is for Jay. One Jay. I'm not not Jay's one. Jay Hill. Jay Hill. <laughs> so if R. Kelly when R. Kelly comes on, right? You don't think about him being a pedophile? I don't. Because I feel like, honestly- You so, are no, no, lying. No, no. I'm glad you asked this. I'm glad you asked this. Because um, me and Shelly actually had this conversation on Father's Day because Tyrese uh, posted- Father's Day? No, 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 no. Not about <laughs> Today? R. Kelly. Listen. <laughs> okay. Listen. Shut up and listen. 
Tyrese just posted a, a picture, a video of him and his daughter, right? Right. And I, I, apparently, it got posted on Shave Room, and all the comments is talking about how she don't look, um, how how how, how old she is. She look older, right? And that's like sexualizing children. So the reason I'm not about to think about a fucking ch- what he did with a child is because I'm not thinking about fucking no child. So if I listen to his music, I'm listening no, to do this to a grown the, woman, not a fucking child. I didn't child. say R. Kelly music was You literally the fucking, said if you go to listen to I did not say R. Kelly music is... you think about... No, it just it's reminds a, me of a, a terrible soundtrack person. To pedophilia. It reminds me of a terrible person. But why? Person. If that's not you. Because pedophilia is fucking filthy. But listen, listen. Like, again, if I, if, if, if I, I don't look at a fucking teenager... And think she looks grown because she ain't grown. R. Kelly like, does, what, no, and he's singing listen, songs about but, but bitches, listen, but listen, and they were probably about know. fourteen. How, how, how you know finish? that on that day he was singing a no, song about an underage bitch? Right. How do you know? Why do you? That's not all he fucked with. He why fucked do with you? He won. He fuck with bitches of all types of ages: grown, young, middle age, old age. But my First question, all, no, no, my question you is, you definitely question, sound like no, a lawyer for R. Kelly. No, no, my question is, my question is, my question is, if you aren't a pedophile or thinking of any children in any other way than children, why would you listen to a song about making love and thinking about him making love to a teenager? That's the I, last I'm thing that's not, in my mind. That you're, you're making that and no one's saying that. So what you're are you saying? Stars? I'm literally saying I hate pedophiles, so I'm not going to listen to one. That's it. If I hate niggas that so, shoot bitches so, and he guilty, so, 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 I'm not listening to Tori. So, so it's just a standard. You, you hate racists, so you're not though, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You hate racists? I hate racist people? Yeah. Yeah. You wear Jordans? You wear fucking Timberlands. Joy's wear... racist? What, bro? Come on. He like, hates black people? That's the shit I'm talking about. Like, yes, bro. Like, he even said he don't like he don't want black people winning shit. So we talking about we talking okay. about you hating uh, uh was this part- within was this within the last what when? Bro, this is fucking old news. Everybody I mean, knows. I know he owned jails so, and no, shit. So what I say is what but I say is we choose this, 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 we this choose to saying. accept what we want to accept. Those, none of those high end fashion brands that you like like black, like people. black people. They hate fucking black people. What does but that you're have still to buying do that shit with you pedophiles. are physically supporting? You're not. You're, you're, you're wearing, wearing it. it. No. Wait a what? This is First of all, right there. stop acting like you ain't never had a pair of Jordans. Wait. Secondly, I, said I don't know. But we you, don't give a fuck. I don't exactly. You miss my point. I, got, I love Jordans. But what I'm saying is, fuck Jordan. I love Jordans. He's never came out and was like, "Yo, what's up, niggas? I hate all y'all." Like that's not. What's no, going bro. On. He did. Like, like it's not what's going on. Bro, he literally he, said, said, said he hates hip hop. No. No. And you a hip hop nigga. You can hate hip hop and I still like something you got going we gotta on. Pull it up, bro. He literally said he he don't want black people wearing his shit. He literally said this out his mouth. Well, I need to see the footage of Michael Jordan saying, bro, "I don't want gotta, black people wearing my it. stuff." Like, he literally said it, bro. I, I found it hard to believe Michael Jordan went to a camera I, and said, "I, I want I, black people I, not I wearing do my at stuff." Some point, I do so know that Tom. I, I, I know. I know. Polo. I know. Ralph Lauren said that. So do you still wear Ralph Lauren? No. So you don't wear. Polo I haven't worn a so polo in at least seven years. So what about Gucci? A belt, maybe, but not right. That's what all I'm saying is. Bro, if we can separate it for other things, why is it so hard to separate it for this? Because again, my, my perspective, I can say fuck R. Kelly and still listen to the body of music because the music is good. Because you have- know the reason it's different is because you don't personally put the person with items as you do a person with music because music is an emotional and it's a feeling that you get when you hear somebody. So that's why your favorite artist, you genuinely like your favorite artist as people. You don't got no person you hate as a person, but you listen to music. What do you say? He said he don't want. He says I make shoes. Listen, he says Michael Jordan quotes in quotes. It Mm -hmm. says I make shoes for suburban whites, not poor black kids. And you got Jordans on right now. I'm not a poor black kid. I'm not a poor black kid. But but did you not? But but the sense I know the sense of that. You're not a poor black kid, but I'm not a pedophile. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't make shoes for people to break their necks and buy them. That's what he's saying. I don't want people who can't afford my shoes to buy my shoes. Oh my god, he could have just said that. Not black. He said he he, he specifically First said all, whites and blacks. You, he said you, that. You literally you have. I said I asked for a video. For I asked for a video of Michael Jordan saying you are this. Twisting wow. yourself into a pretzel to make this work. Yo. No, I'm not right. trying to make it work because I don't really give a fuck about Jordan as much as I do listen to R. Kelly. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, fuck continue. Jordan. Keep fuck going. R. Kelly. Fuck all of them. But again, if you make something that I like, I'm gonna listen to it, wear it, and do whatever the fuck I want to do. Period. You can. That's your choice. If you want to listen to a pedophile, you can turn this shit up, my nigga. I'm not. And that's okay. You two can jam out. I'm and when not. your bitch stop the stroke a little bit when the shit come on, don't be acting fishy because mad bitches don't like R. Kelly like that. All older bitches, maybe. But like regular, like 20, 30s, they not really bumping fucking R. Kelly anyway. The young bitches I fuck, they like fucking fucking. You say you only fuck with 30 and 40 year olds. You don't fuck no young bitches. Yeah, I, nah, nah. 30 is kind of young because I ain't gonna lie. Young bitches don't even know R. Kelly. I, I think I put a. um. 
I was in college and I played a fucking Beyonce song or some shit. And the bitch ain't even know who that. No, it was Mary J. Blige. She didn't even know who that was. So it's like, they probably ain't listening to R. Kelly either. Yeah. So like, all they know R. Kelly for is fucking little girls. Yeah, that's all they know. They came out <laughs> the womb hearing. R. Kelly a rapist. We heard R. Kelly from a different perspective. Yo, he been, he been, he been, they been talking about this shit with R. Kelly for like 12 years? Yeah. Well, longer than that. 20 years for real, for real. Yeah, you know, so if you're 21, and he keep on you doing probably it. don't know the body of work well, this man got. he's in jail right now, so he's not doing shit but getting fucked in the ass. But that's 15 the years thing. later, whoa, didn't know you had an inside scoop on his asshole. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yo, where the fuck is this nigga? This yeah. is crazy. Literally. I didn't know you had an inside scoop on an asshole. <laughs> Double on time, <laughs> for real. Don't man. ask me how. That was actually great. Don't ask me how. No. But uh, get it, ask me how. Yo, wow, it. three of them. Look, but no, um, yeah, you got it. We got to stop. I mean, I understand the whole Jordan thing. I get it. But it's just, to me, like you saying, what we're speaking on, like, it's just different age brackets to understand. I do know older people who listen to R. Kelly still because they grew up listening to songs and they love them. Right. But the person of R. Kelly is a pedophile. That's like somebody saying they, they, they don't. Nobody's. That's like somebody saying anymore. they don't. They don't support uh, LGBTs. But um, so I'm not going to listen to uh, Sam Smith. I guess I don't know mm -hmm. whoever the gay nigga was. Like mm -hmm. the music is good. Who gives a fuck? Like, mm -hmm. like if your music is good, your music is good. Whatever you do in your life, just like people that it's it's. The so you LGBT mean tell me? Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 no, no, wait, no, So you mean to tell me? You you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me? We can support murderers and killers that rap. But can, like it's it's the same thing. Nigga. These niggas kill niggas for a living, I, and we listen to that music bumping it all out. Shit. Come hey, on, nigga, I, I love DDM's last album, nigga. So that shit I have no fire, problem man. with. I don't have no problem with, with you know. So you support that the, shit, the gay <laughs> music community. I don't. What about the killers though? Huh? What about the killers? You don't have no problem with the killers. I be bumping some. I be bumping some. Right. Kids. But you, you can't bump. <laughs> well, I mean, can't. allegedly, uh, allegedly, I listen to killers. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, I, I, I lived in LA for a while, so like, like I don't. I'm not bothered by any. Of that goofy ass niggas. Yeah, you're not, you're gay not people bothered shit. by people that murder. I, I don't give a fuck. Murder, yeah, no, not, no, 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 no. So I'm not talking about murders so right now. As long as you gay? murder the person, it's fine. Wait, 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 I mean, wait, wait, wait. you, you can't think, take advantage of who, it. Just who do you think I listen to that's a murderer, first wait, of all? Wait, like, wait, do you so know? You think, I mean, the baby is a murderer. Huh? The baby. Yeah. Gucci. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Walmart with the baby. I shoot a nigga too, run up on me and my kids. You don't have to take a person's life to protect your family. So you mean to tell me he had a gun too, nigga? You could have shot him into his armor. You could have shot the AJ, gun. shut the fuck up. <laughs> Facts. I try to, I try to drag it now. It's too late, man. I was about to say, so you, so you associate gay people with goofiness. Basically, what you were saying. Ooh, what? You said I've been in LA. A, a, LA. I said I don't. I said, I said no, no, no. You, you're, you're definitely reaching. And, you're, and, you're, and your cars broke down on another part. You literally you said, bro. You literally no, said. No, I literally said I don't, I've been in LA, I, so I'm okay with the goofy gay shit, like whatever. No, I said I lived in LA, so I don't get into <laughs> that goofy hating on gay shit. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Like people be hating I hear, on hey, gay I, people. I, I hear, yeah. Exactly. You try to throw me under a big ass bus. No, you get no fire. You no fire. You try to throw me under the gay bus. That's the biggest bus we got. Mm, I, love, me under the man, gay <laughs> I ain't got no problem with no gay people. I'm not giving, I'm not doing that goofy shit. I ain't doing that shit. Mm -mm. You play if you want to. Oh wait, mm -hmm. so so is the gay community bigger than the woman community when it comes to criticism? Or in it, or in well, that? because women are in the gay in the in the women support the gay community. Yeah, right. So it's not fair. Like, yeah, it's definitely not fair. You beef with the gay community, you beef with women, gays, everybody. Mm, I'm yeah, you can I got beef a lot. With a woman, gay people might step oh. out of that motherfucker like shit. That ain't got nothing to do with that shit. You but the women, they gonna have that back. I got listen. Gay. I got I got gay family members. I got uh, gay associates. Bro, that's kind of like about don't what say you that, doing. man. That's that's kind of like the white people saying, man, I got black. No, no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. No, I say a line of a line of people who are just in general. Living for themselves. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not my preference. Now, as far as the music, if I relate to your music, gay or not, I'm listening to it. I okay. Facts. Facts. Music is but, relatable. But but you can't you can't if you can't you can't relate to R. Kelly music because because yeah. every time he, this is my song, for real, I feel like he's singing to a little girl and I can't listen. Now. Why? So why are you thinking about little girls? I'm man? not thinking about little girls. I'm thinking R. Kelly. I want to fuck little girls. I'm thinking about R. Kelly who wants to fuck little. But wait, girls. if you listen to a gay person. Gay person music, he want to fuck up other man. And I man. said, if it's relatable to me, so why can't all Kelly music be relatable to you? <laughs> he has 20 years of accusations of fucking children. And this gay person probably got 20 years of wanting to fuck another person, another guy. Why well, can't be the same thing? You're comparing gay people to pedophiles. And I want you to stop before this shot gets way too deep. I'm trying to help you out. That was good. You're you're, I ain't you're, scared though. That was good. Yeah, you ain't that. scared though. That was good. I ain't gonna lie. That, 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 that might be bad. Are. That might be bad. 
<laughs> when you said it out loud, you could you comparing <laughs> pedophiles to gay wolf. That's bad. So can, I want to bring it all the way That's back just terrible. for a second, so that way we can close. That's not out. even funny. That's, I, I, I want like, so, to wrap this so up. So y'all might not like this podcast for real. So <laughs> y'all might not like Jay Hill. As an industry, as a person, as as as, as three dudes in the industry, yo, star is like. How do you want the line to be drawn for your scenario? Say, for instance, there was somebody hating on the new Stars project. Would you want us to make that person a pariah? Like, if they weren't supportive of your movement, or say somebody did come out say something disrespectful, like, "Yo, is it is it is it expected of me to knock this nigga teeth out?" Or like, "Are you cool if I'm still cool with that person and they talking shit about?" I mean, if a personal or... if a person don't like my music, you just don't like my music. I mean, I, I mean, I've been in it long enough to know that. I mean, but it's not no, you, you, you don't like my music because of a but reason. But coming out public with that shit. Like, yo, this thing stars been a trash ass nigga. <laughs> da, da, da. Post my shit on, on your sites and shit. I'm in the comments. This they nigga, say uh, no nice shit all the well, time. Like, I just feel like we associate people with who they are. Like, they're going to look at you and say, um, what is it called? Like, a nigga that be like, come on. Are you my friend? All right, but, okay. Let's like, take it to like, another like, level. No, no, hold up before you do that. Say if you in the club, you perform, and a nigga, you come off stage, and a nigga clock you and shit. Like, you know what, what I mean? And the beef is popping. I don't know. I don't know. Why would know. they do that? Maybe though? you fucked this girl or some shit like that, and the beef is popping. Do mm. I now have to go out and whoop this nigga ass? If you standing next to me and I get popped, Jay, and you no, don't no, help, no. You're, I'm whooping you that definitely in ass. trouble. I'm saying I, I wasn't there that night, but I see the nigga the next day. I need to pop off on this nigga, right? Uh, but can nah. I wait? But my the real question is: I mean, are you the best friend no, 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 or are you no, the homie? No, 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 the real I'm question. About, I am who I am to you. I wouldn't expect you to pop a nigga. The real question, nigga. The real question is: a rapper pop off on you, right? A nice ass rap pop off on you. I can whip his ass. But if his music lit, you don't expect me not to listen to his music. It, de- it depends, I guess. It depends That's what he did That's to me. Deep. Exactly. Because if, if he pop you in a club, right? right, right. I'm going to beat his ass for you. Right, or whatever, right. right? You going to still listen to his music after you beat him up? Look, yeah. you going to put it on on the way home from the club. <laughs> you put that nigga shit on. If that shit lit. Not cool. That's not if if that that shit, me. You got to wait two weeks. So two the nigga pop. All right, listen. two weeks. Two weeks. So the nigga pop me. You say, oh shit, you pop him. You beat his ass. And on the way home, we listen to the nigga. Not shit. on the way home, but in two but weeks. I said I like, two weeks. Okay. In two weeks, while we together, you that shit come on. You look at me. I wish you out of the car. I wish you out of the car. This shit do be rocking though, right? <laughs> this shit rocking, right? You look at me like this shit rocking. Bro, bro, you can understand this, bro. Like, you come can't. on, this is what like, come on, bro. Like, be real, bro. This shit hard, right? <laughs> come on, he got the song. He's rocking, right? Nah, it's a, it's a dub. It's a dub. Especially if you help beat the nigga up. That's mad weird that we both now we we both just like man, yeah, he ain't missing. He ain't missing a minute. Facts, if bro, if if, if if somehow, bro, if somehow, bro, if what if little baby bro, shot me, bro, if, if somehow, if somehow, we get some, paid, yo, if some in some way, some some way, form of shape, right? Fuck little baby, you and Drake, <laughs> you and Drake get into a beef, and y'all Damn. get to fighting. You know what I'm saying? And we, Drake we, 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 we fuck Drake up. You think I'm not gonna listen to this nigga? Nigga, Drake, is, nigga look, look, you look, look, Drake, could, Drake could fuck me up, and I still listen. To <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be listening to that, that nigga rocking. on shit on the way home? Shit yeah. Yo, let me like, like this. Shit fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that nigga though. Turn yo, shit up. hey, yo, y'all might not like this podcast. Y'all might not like this podcast. Episode zero zero four. Hey man, it's a wrap, man. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Even the single mothers that want to be fathers. That be I hate it. Shit. Stop telling y'all friends happy Father's Day. She has one holiday. That's it. That's it. Okay. Y'all might call y'all baby podcast. daddies today. JS1, J Hill, Stars, Rap. We out.